This week in Norway, we were lucky to find this red snapper fish alongside some of my friends and everyone went crazy grilling and preparing their best red snapper fish recipes. Mrs. A, Mrs. B, Mrs. C. <laughs> Hello friends, you're welcome back to the Afro Food Diary. A very warm welcome to you. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today. It's another yummy episode and today we're making grilling uh, red snapper fish. Okay, one of the numerous recipes available. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is to clip off the, uh, the fins and I like it really, really clean, okay? So after taking off the uh, the fins and the tail, I went on to kind of uh, slice off the scales, okay? So, and once you're done with that, you will, you will end up with something like this, a clean, as clean as a baby. So we'll go ahead and wash it thoroughly. The fish came already um, cleaned, like the entrails had already been taken off. So all I did was clean the outside and wash it thoroughly. Pat dry it with a towel so you don't have a soggy fish. Then you go ahead and uh, give it some cuts like I'm doing right here. The essence is so that the spices you're going to be putting on this fish can penetrate and get into the uh, insides of the fish. So once I'm done with that, this is a mixture of pepper, different types of uh, dry peppers, black pepper, uh, chili pepper, especially salt and a seasoning cube. Okay. So, and once I'm done with that, I'll just massage it onto the fish and put it in the refrigerator. Okay. While I prepare the, uh, the fresh spices. For making fish, I can't do without ginger. So I have ginger, onions, uh, scotch bonnet pepper and uh, red bell pepper okay so the uh the pepper you use for this like the hot pepper you use for this depends on eh, your preference okay the hotter you want it the more pepper you would want to use okay but don't don't skip your ginger it does a whole lot of good to your fish So now that I have this here, I went ahead to blend it to become like this, roughly blended, okay? Not smooth, not a paste, it's roughly blended, okay? So next, we'll go ahead now and then prepare that yummy sauce for our fish. So we're gonna be stir frying the, uh, the mix of uh, blended peppers, ginger and onions. And we're going to be spicing a little with salt, with uh, smoked paprika and seasoning cube. Okay. So, but you taste as you cook. If you already had enough spices in the first uh, one we used in cooking our fish before putting in the fridge to sit for uh, 30 minutes or thereabouts, then you wouldn't need to add so much spice to this one in terms of salt. So you taste as you cook. So we're going to be stir frying this for like four minutes. Just make sure that the water dries out basically. And depending on if you have more oil than I did in mine, you will see your oil float out. But I didn't have so much oil in this sauce and that was intentional. <music> Like I told us, the fish sat for not less than 30 minutes and here it is. It's time to lay it on our paper lined tray, the baking uh, tray I mean. I just lay down, lay the, uh, the fish on the tray and uh, begin to coat it with the rich sauce. <music> So 
here is what the uh, the first side of it looks like after coating it and you want to leave uh, half of the sauce the pepper sauce behind for the other part okay so we're going to be setting it in the oven for the first 10 to 12 minutes and then we'll flip it over like I'm just doing here so as to coat the other side of it with the pepper sauce that's the goal <laughs> So once that is done, you want to put it back in the oven and the grill until the fish is thoroughly cooked. That's for another 10-12 minutes. You want to also go in and brush the surface of the fish with your uh, the remnant of your sauce, if you have any, or the oil from the sauce until the fish comes out this beautifully grilled. Yes, guys, here we have our yummy fish. You can have it as a complete meal or as a side dish. Hit the like button if you love what you're watching. And thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.